hi a very good morning to you all and welcome back to my garden and i hope you all enjoying your second flushes of roses um, on my last video i only featured five of the the 12 of david austin and today i will be looking to find another seven which would uh, complete the 12 of the best repeated flowering roses and standing tall and proud are two roses in one which was featured on my first part of my video and then this this is Lady Shallot bearing rich orange red buds opening chalice shaped blooms filled with the loosely arranged orange petals the surrounding outer petals are almost sour and pink with a beautiful contrasting golden yellow underside there is a, a very light fragrance, a tea fragrance with a hint of spice. And first introduced in 2009 and has become a very popular rose amongst uh, deer collectors like myself. And I do have another Lady Shallot as well in the pot, but not quite doing as good as this not looking as good as this. These blooms are, for second flush, are extremely large. And the majority of the, uh, the flowers are all very large. At the end of the video I will probably be picking three of the best repeat David Austin and these two are both on par both just as good This one is a very, very tall shrub. Ideally, really for something at the back of the border, really. And she really thrived in full sun. As good as she is, this rose just seems to be lacking something, in my opinion. Maybe a lack of fragrance, or maybe a bit of charisma just doesn't really wow me like some of the roses I have. But in my opinion, she is one of the, the best repeat flowering roses. Of course, the, uh, the list is not complete without adding this one on the list. She's called Olivia Rose Austin, and most of you are familiar with this rose, as it's a very, very popular rose to have. She's been uh, performing extremely well for me this, uh, this summer. Um, well, every summer, in fact. It's uh, quite a compact bush growing from three and a half foot to four and a half feet wide. Uh, ideal for uh, uh, a pot. This is a perfect rose with a, uh, a perfect package. Has great disease resistance and uh, excellent ability to repeat flowering. And this rose bloom is quite, a, quite large. Yeah, there it is. But uh, most of the, uh, the, the the buds on it, the, the blooms will be uh, relatively small, and like this bottom one here, very very small. And this one as well looks identical to meal on a floss, small, but very very cute. Uh, a rose most of you should have 
in your collection if you haven't done so already. Uh, I did take a cutting back in autumn and it has rooted and given me a, a few blooms. Uh, I've been trying to uh, capture this one at the prime on its uh, second flush but uh, due to the extreme weather we've been having uh, it's uh, the task of uh, doing that is very very difficult I mean the blooms you see here have flower and by the time these ones are in flower this one be spent so uh, really there's never a good time to uh, to capture this one uh, this is my uh, my best shot and hopefully it'll be good enough to convince you An unwit rose here, looking drenched, wet, and sorry. Uh, she was uh, severely in infected with black spots, of course, and as of some of my roses too. And the bush is looking rather thin and bold. I certainly would give my thinning hairline a run for their money. In fact, I've been so good at uh, plucking leaves with black spot. Uh, chickens at my local farm would uh, scatter and run for their lives when they see me coming. <laughs> I don't think the chickens would find that funny. I'm now just going to show you a, a rose that has surprised me. And here she is. Grace and trying to look so gracefully even in this weather. There's large apricot flowers darker in the middle and paling toward the edges. She has a very nice and warm tea scent and forms a, a very bushy upright growth with arching branches. first introduced in 2001 and this is one of the, uh, the few roses that have been uh, plucking its, on its leaves so it's looking rather gorgeous at this moment and really go really showing no signs of disease on this on this rose and look at these beautiful beautiful gorgeous pointed petals I don't have any roses with this kind of characteristic. I'm still bearing abundance of flowers on this one. I never imagined I would be adding this one on a list. But, it's just, but she is absolutely very showing her presence. Grace. I just want to pause the video for the moment and show you a couple of roses and this rose was featured on part one of my video as a best repeat and I kept thinking to myself whether it was the right choice to make and now seeing this rose for a few more days I can confirm the choice was correct and she is Lady Emma Hamilton bearing numerous buds on this bush and more of them on that far cane and looking so bright and so vibrant I have no regret adding this one on the list and Verbena purchased this plant a few years ago in the garden centre for about £12 and I thought it was quite expensive at the time for a companion plant but in fact these self seed so easily that I have them all over the garden and I'll show you another 
another one growing alongside my jubilee celebration. And more here. These seems to prefer to uh, germinate in the same pot as a, a rose. And perhaps they were made to be with each other. And hibiscus covered in blooms. And another one growing in the same pot as Summer Song. Looking so tall and so elegant. And bees really love this plant. And I know for sure I didn't put that there myself. I think I really got my money's worth there. And these will continue to uh, sell seed and germinate for many, many years to come. This is another Royal Jubilee uh, cutting, which I took from the mother plant four years ago at the back of the garden. Uh, just to give you an idea, if you do decide to take cuttings yourself, uh, this is what you would expect from a four-year-old cutting. Uh, we did have some, uh, some wind and rain last night, and yet she still managed to hold on to uh, a lot of her flowers. And these blooms are very, very long lasting and very beautiful. And she certainly have inherited her mother's legacy. And in this part of the garden, I do have a, a rose called Heidi Clum, a very deep pink crimson rose and two Eustacea Vise, which is about to start its second flush. Rosa Peace with lots of irises, alliums and peonies. And when this part of the garden was in, in, in its prime, it looked so beautiful, just like a bouquet of flowers. And as this part of the garden is, is exposed to my neighbors, they're probably thinking, what is this guy doing talking to a rose? Well, sometimes I do prefer to talk to a rose rather than a wife. At least they will listen and don't argue back. And just as well she isn't a subscriber to my channel. Otherwise, I'll be in big, big trouble. And yeah, these blooms are very, very long lasting. Princess Alexandra of Kent, a must-have in any collection, bearing unusually large, fully petal pink blooms. And these blooms have a very strong, fruity fragrance with a hint of lemon and raspberry. And for a second flush, these blooms are very, very large. This rose was featured on numerous times on my previous video. A rose that has good fragrance, uh, best for flowering, and now best repeat. A very impressive rose from day one. A very continuous bloomer. And never a time that I haven't seen this rose without any flowers. I might be a little bit biased toward this rose as she is one of my favorite. Look at so many of these blooms that are yet to open. What a stunner. And I can't think of any other rose other than this one to be on that list.
and you say Sivai, an exceptionally pretty rose glowing in soft apricot pink and each bloom is packed with delicate ruffle petals has a very strong fruity lemon sherbet fragrance and very healthy and very upright and foliage looks extremely healthy and a very vigorous shrub and very compact and ideal for a, a pot I'm first introduced in 2019 and I really was looking forward to uh, seeing this rose on the second flush and she has really not been disappointed and this is one of the, the few flowers that have performed better on the second flush than the first but unfortunately this rose does have a downside to it and some of these blooms uh, were only recently opened maybe yesterday and we had some rain and wind last night and look at them these delicate petals never stood a chance and for me that's a really really disappointing result uh, should have been a, a very very impressive rose but her petals never really last very long uh, such a shame but still a very impressive rose Desdemona with a peachy pink bud opening to beautiful white shallow shaped blooms a strong old rose fragrance has hints of almond blossom, cucumber and lemon zest. Forms a very most attractive round bush and first introduced in 2015. And from a distance she looks incredible, amazing. And really showing off her presence on a beautiful day like today. And by far one of the, the most proliferous roses that I have in my garden bearing well over 300 small tiny buds and I can only imagine something like a fairy rose or a ground cover rose with this many buds to match her I mean, some of her blooms might not be as uh, big as others on the second flush but she definitely has an abundance of these flowers and nothing can really come close to matching and some of her blooms are in fact quite small and uh, freely but I don't know why this is but if I did know why I'll probably be able to get a job at the DA Garden Centre and with my rose knowledge they'll probably put me at reception or send me to the coffee shop serving coffees and even that won't be a good idea as I'll be spending all my earnings on roses. And this rose was featured in a few of my videos with the best flowering and the best fragrance and making this the best all-rounder rose. And by far, in my opinion, the best white rose David Austin's collection. And today she's really making a statement Jim L. Austin, bearing large, many petal deep pink rosette blooms. And these blooms has a light, medium strength, fruity fragrance and forms a very neat and tidy, upright growing habit. And these blooms are very, very large in size and looks so romantic. And first introduced in 2017, name after a member of the family of David Austin 
she is a very, very reliable rose. But there was a time when she didn't have any blooms, when she was having a break. And for that reason, I will not be including her, him on the list. Perhaps in a few days time, with her, all her flowers open, it might be a different story. But today, this last remaining spot, we'll have to go to another rose. And the last... And finally, I have come to a journey's end. And I have selected 12 of the best repeat David Austin roses in my garden. And if there are some which I may have missed, as perhaps I haven't got them, or they're not doing very well in my garden. And I do apologize for making a few detours which may have extended this video and have been far too long and tedious. And this year has been a very challenging year for us rose growers in UK. And there's been constant rain and wind experienced many ups and downs but down we have stood strong and got back up with determination and passion we kept going and although faced with many obstacles we still managed to push ourselves to new limits and achieve success and with patience and hard work we will eventually reap the reward of our success and create memory to bring with us pleasure, a joy to share this with you and I hope by watching these videos it will help you to inspire you to start making a journey of your own and for now it's a goodbye and I hope to see you very soon. The drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever Everything would stay the same Now my heart feels like December when somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day, yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday, yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Go and raise a glass and say, yeah Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Start
just for you That you know I never try Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah. But everything gonna be alright Go and raise a glass and say Yeah Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything you